Hello again, everyone. I'm Dr. George Simon, and welcome to another edition of the new Character Matters program. This is the program where we talk about what I consider to be the defining issue of our time, the character crisis that we have faced for several decades now and that affects every aspect of our lives. In today's program, I want to talk about something that I don't usually talk about on this program, but that I have written about at some length in all of my books, especially my books, Character Disturbance, The Phenomenon of Our Age, and In Sheep's Clothing, Understanding and Dealing with Manipulative People, and which I also address in my latest book, Essentials for the Journey. What I want to talk about today is severe character disturbance and its impact on the world, especially when we do not have the presence of mind to avoid conferring power upon individuals of severely impaired character. This is a huge problem with gigantic consequences. Character has always mattered. It's always mattered more than anything. And there were times when we devoted much more attention, careful attention, not only to nurturing character in our young folks, but also setting up structures and institutions, observing certain norms and behaviors that held people to account, that pretty much demanded character, especially if we were going to confer power upon an individual to allow an individual to lead us to grant that privilege. Character mattered to us. Not only that, we were better able to discern those essential aspects of character that were absolutely vital to have in an individual upon whom we conferred power. Why is that so important? because we live in increasingly dangerous times. We have weapons, the likes of which the world had not seen for many, many years, and which have the potential to destroy not only all human life, but all life on earth. And in the wrong hands, some of these weapons could cause catastrophic consequences if used. And there are individuals out there who would love to get their hands on them. On the world stage, we have witnessed over the past several decades what happens when individuals with truly impaired character are handed the reins of power. There are individuals among us, nature's only known intraspecies predators, those that style themselves as superior to all the rest of us, those malignantly narcissistic individuals for whom power glory and dominance are the only concerns that they have. These heartless, fearless warriors have always been with us. And they actually, in times past, got us through some very difficult times. We probably wouldn't even be here in a civilized or so-called civilized age 
if it weren't for them. But such individuals are increasingly problematic in a civilized world. Civilized life is unsustainable when character impaired individuals of this type have power. And once again, presently on the world stage, we have an example of that, where an individual hell bent on dominance and out for personal glory seeks to bring others to their knees. This kind of behavior is not unheard of, but it can no longer be tolerated if the world is to survive and to prosper. These folks will always be with us, perhaps. But we have to do a much better job of discerning the character of individuals and never, never affording such folks even a modicum of power over us. There are individuals who in their very character makeup pursue power rapidly for its own sake, for their own edification and glory, and who therefore will inevitably abuse power when they're afforded it and who will relish in the wielding of that power ruthlessly over the lives of other people. Shame on them and shame on us forever affording them power. We have to get better at discerning we actually hold more power than we think we do. And it's time we exercise that power wisely, prudently, lovingly, creatively. And that necessarily involves never again allowing a person of defective character to serve our interests, no matter how well we think we might profit, it's not worth it. Anything can happen as a result. I hope you'll avail yourself not only of my books, but also the many articles that I have on my blog at drgeorgesimon.com on the topics of psychopathy and sociopathy. They're informative articles that explain just how these disturbing characters operate, how these malignantly narcissistic individuals somehow manage to rise to positions of power and the damage they do when we afford it to them. So please take the time to go to the blog and read the articles. And also, if you have a mind to, to read a more detailed explanation in my books about these character types and the problems that they cause and how especially to discern their makeup and help keep them in their place uh, before it's too late. So that's my unusual podcast for today. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Dr. George Simon. See you next time on the next edition of the new Character Matters. And please visit my blog at drgeorgesimon.com 
for a little bit more on this topic. Take care.